And now, special edition of Keeping Up with the Koto Agulas. Abhishek Special, Cooking with the Kuru Agula. Does it blend? Hey everyone, today I'm going to be cooking up some ground up water. Check it out! Why did all the liquid shoot out the top? Let's model it. We are assuming that this is a frictionless blender operating at a constant speed. Because the water that starts at the center of the blender and is flung all the way out by the blades will go the farthest, we can use one particle of water starting at the center of the blades to model the entire blender. The acceleration required to keep a particle moving in a circle is given by this equation, assuming an external reference frame. If the reference frame spins with the circle and the particle is released, it appears that the particle accelerates out of the circle with this acceleration because of the acceleration of the reference frame. The velocity in this case is based on circumference and number of rotations per second. Thus, we can relate velocity to radius. When we plug this into the acceleration equation, we can create a differential equation for the acceleration. Solve that, and we get an equation for final velocity based only on initial and final radius and rotational speed. When we return to an outside reference frame, the particle has the radial velocity found above, but also has tangential velocity from spinning. Add those vectors, and we get the final velocity of the particle. The water flowing from the blades of the blender has a certain amount of kinetic energy. The wall of the blender changes the direction of motion, and that kinetic energy is converted into gravitational energy. When we set up an equation for the transfer of energy and plug in the various energy forms, we find a direct expression for height in terms of nothing but the initial and final radius and the rotational speed. When we plug in those values, all empirically determined, we get a final height of 7,664 meters. This shows that the blender has massive losses to heat due to friction and inelastic collisions. This shows that the blender is hugely inefficient. 99.99% of the energy is lost to heat. Despite that, we have found a device with lower losses. This spring efficiently converts energy between gravitational potential energy, spring potential energy, and rotational and linear kinetic energy. However, despite the efficiency of the spring, physics dictates that even in this frictional blender scenario, the water is going to fly out. So I suppose Chef K will just have to put a lid on it.